Welcome to the Gear Lab. I want to talk about headphones. Choosing a set of headphones, it's really subjective since we all hear very different. But after years of trying the various pairs, all of which were supposedly designed for location audio, it became clear that there was more to it than just how they sound. Headphones should meet some basic requirements. These are the ones I find important. Yeah, I mean, Number one, I they gotta be lightweight and comfortable. If you're wearing a set of headphones that are squeezing your head like a vice, there's not a chance you're gonna make it through a long day of shooting without getting a splitting headache. I wear my headphones most of the day. They're that comfortable. Your headphones, they need to be durable as well. They need to stand up to what Mother Nature's gonna throw at them. They need to handle the abuse of just being on location. I've had headphones fall apart after a few months of use. They also need to be closed or sealed. You don't want headphones with vents on the ear cups. The sound's gonna bleed out, which can be picked up by your microphone, or the ambience of the location will leak in. You wanna hear what's coming in your mic, not what's leaking in through the sides of your headphones. And most importantly, they gotta be flat response. I don't want my headphones coloring the sound in any way. I need an accurate representation of what's gonna be recorded. So which headphones do I use? Well, Sennheiser's HD25s. If you search for them today, they're HD25-1 Mark IIs. Sennheiser has done a fantastic job with these headphones. They meet all of my requirements. Plus, there's some added features that make them absolutely perfect for field recording. I love the rotating ear cup. If someone comes up and starts talking to you, you can just flip them back. At the same time, you can still kind of monitor what's going on with your mics. That's great. They don't fall off. You don't have to wear them around your neck. And when it's time to work, just flip them back on. The split headband feature is fantastic if you gotta move fast. They clamp onto your head like a football helmet and it's impossible to shake these things off. Perfect. A short, straight cable. This is perfect for location audio. You don't want a curly one or like a 10 foot long cable. It's too long, it's too bulky. I love this, a quarter inch screw on adapter. When Sennheiser first put out their headphones, they came with a quarter inch connector. Not very good when you want to plug into a camera because they want an eighth inch. They then came out with an eighth inch with a click on adapter. That thing would go intermittent. Now we got the screw on adapter, everything's solved. And finally, I absolutely love this, is you can repair your headphones in the field. I can replace the entire ear cup. I can replace the wiring harness. I can replace the pads on my ear cups. If you've ever been in the field for any length of time, you've probably had your headphones damaged. Being able to fix them in the field, man, that's priceless. Now with all this headphone goodness, they do have a couple of flaws. The number one thing that irritates me the most is the headphones do go intermittent right here where this connector goes into the headphone. A little bit of contact cleaner usually fixes them up, but sometimes you gotta replace the whole wiring harness. Another thing that can happen is from humidity and heat and sweating, the ear pads can blister. The ear pads and the headband, um, they get a little nasty after a while. And the last thing, and this is kind of more of a beware than a flaw, but right here, where the wire comes out of this little channel, um, I've actually snapped my headphones and pinched the thing there. One time I severed it and had to replace the whole harness. So just be aware of that. So that's it. The Sennheiser HD25s. In my opinion, they're the best headphones for location audio.